boys and girls, and so we have another ranked battle here. This one is nothing to really do with me other than, obviously, this is me in the T110E4. Um, I ended up doing a little over 2,000 damage, which, it, th in this, that's pitiful. Um, I think I had uh, four shots, three uh, hit and penned, or four penned, I can't remember. It was just, it was a pitiful match for me. Um, but... Actually, the guy that this video is highlighting is right there in the T92 HMC, HMC the uh, Tier 10 uh, artillery with that huge boomstick. Uh, and you'll see, I, I ought to just actually speed it up here. Yeah, matter of fact, I will. Uh, you, you guys have just got to see this shot that he made. It is just freaking phenomenal. This ended up being one of those nail-biter matches where... Um, it gets down to uh, basically four artillery, two on our side, two on their side, and um, uh, the two tier tens obviously are clipping out on our guys, and um, they get a shot on the 261. Um, doesn't take him all the way out, but uh, when he's shot and he moves, it pretty much lights him up. I will slow it back down to the normal speed now, so you can kind of see where. Uh, what not to do when you're in a T110E4. I got, I got some pretty good pens, uh, but right back there ended up being a um, Kronwagen. He was hiding back there, and um, I kind of knew he was there because, uh, well, actually, I did know he was there because the first four shots he takes on me bounced every one of them. Nice of the uh, boss to pull out there and hold still for me to shoot him in the side. Um, but he bounces all his rounds on me. So I thought he just bounced all his rounds. What are the odds he's going to go and pen all his rounds this time? When I went to push forward on, uh, yeah, two, the 215B183 hit me for, uh, oh, geez, all of 363. And that was a premium. Where did he hit me to do that little amount of damage? Oh. Really, I'm surprised that he hit in there. He still didn't do a ton of damage because that's the, like the weak spot on this uh, tank or those cheeks. I thought maybe he hit me right on the gun mantle or something. Huh. I guess I got real lucky RNG didn't like him. And you can see Artie's just a drop in the shells. And uh, so I need to get out of there. And uh, this thing just moves like a freaking pregnant whale when uh, it, you're stunned. It just really, everything is deathly slow so I was just trying to at least back out of the way so I could use my repair kit but um, so it gets down to this nail biter match uh, we got two already they've got two already and um, the uh, our team knocks out one of their uh, bat or their uh, their uh, uh, was it the GW 100 is that what it is yeah knocks them out and um, then our T92 is kind of back here in this open field, and uh, the Batchet already takes some shots at R261. And next thing you see is this Batchet already just trudging across the field. I mean, just balls to the walls flying. And um, I was on the uh, artillery's point of view at that time, so I got to see a beautiful shot. He led it perfectly, everything. Couldn't have shot more perfectly. Bam, took that thing out, and uh, we won the match. But see, uh, right here, I was kind of fishing to get that uh, Cranwagon cran to shoot at me to see, and he was smart. He waited till I got out here far enough where he could put his whole clip into me. Look at this. Side of the moss, and it bounces. I'm like, what the hell? What a premium freaking round. But see, yeah, uh, he was smart enough to... Uh, you know, wait, but I figured he was clipped out, so I start moving forward. Guess what? He still had one shell left. I got to go back to school and learn how to count. God, I could have swore he shot all four times. But um, obviously he didn't because he uh, waited till I came up around. He got a beautiful side shot on me. And uh, I was actually very shocked that he was shooting regular, uh, regular standard rounds. Um, but yeah, you can see I bounced one, two, three of the shells. So did not foresee that happening. So... I think I sat on my tank here for a little bit, so we'll fast forward it a little bit. And it cracks me up how people are so um, telling everybody how to run their tanks. 
calling people retards and stupid asses and just every name in the book if they don't do exactly like uh, what they want them to do. And uh, it, it's just hilarious. I mean, and then you see the, the after action review and the guy that was, you know, being the butthole, calling him all the names, telling him he was a piece of crap and, you know, he ran ran his tank like crap and then you look and he did like zero damage or he did like one shot of damage. It's like, boy, what gives you the right to call this guy every name in the book and say he's a big turd when you did no damage yourself or very little, if any. But, um, yeah, it cracks me up. So the average 140, he was looking for the art, uh, artillery, and I, I told him, I said, you know, check around the water here, because that's where they normally set is right over here on the, uh, okay, uh, eight, nine area. And, uh, sure enough, he said he checked there, and then I'm like, oh, it's up here then. It's got to be up there, and he come around the corner and took that one out. So we've got six tanks left. They've got five. But it ends up going pretty quick after this 140 gets knocked out. Yeah, we just lost. Yeah, we just lost our 907, our 140. Now we're down to the Moss. Oops. Speed that back up to regular speed. We're down to our Moss and two artilleries. Now, other than that shot right there that the Moss took and basically shot the dirt, which, you know, our buddy makes the same mistake now and then. Um, I think the guy did a fantastic job. And, you know, you can see he's getting picked apart by artillery. Which, that one looked like it came from the right side. Huh, interesting. I could have swore that hit him in right there. On the right side. And, uh... Oh, it was the 183. It wasn't artillery. That's what it was. Duh. So, uh... I think this Moss actually did a fantastic job other than making that one crappy shot. And this dude here just starts ragging him. Um, he's like... Oh, how did he miss some hole? You know, he was right in the open. Holy moly, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I'm pretty sure uh, they have already had A9. And, uh, oh, he starts really ragging on this moss in a second. I mean, it just cracks me up. And, you know, here he takes he takes out uh, uh, another tank. That uh, bat chat over there knocks. I think he takes the bat chat out. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so he takes him out. So he's got, and he did a lot of damage, you'll see in the after action review. And, um, where is it? Um, I, you know, I told him, nice shot. You know, I try and compliment people as much as I can. And, um, where? I can't remember who started running their mouth towards the guy. I think it was the 62A. Yeah, it was. Um, Yeah, the Moss is uh, saying, you know, I'm not going to go try and uh, cap at suicide, which he was right, you know. I mean, you're in a, one of the biggest, slowest tanks in the game. Artie is going to sit there and pick you apart. And uh, the 62A just starts ragging out, especially after he gets knocked out here. You know, saying, oh, that was a retarded move, drive right at him. Well, what's he supposed to do? I mean, he could probably have maybe gone up this way, you know, along the, uh, and he does light the guy. But he could have driven up the, the wall right up here. But still, I mean, he's probably going to get knocked out. It just, when you're in that big of a slow, heavy tank, the odds of you not getting hit by artillery are slim to none. And uh, I actually, you know, kind of went up the bat for the moss here. I'm like, you know, the dude did the right thing. You know, he was just going to get picked apart. And it just cracks me up how people just... Yeah, he says, yeah, you're a fucking monkey. Um, yeah, that's where I said, no, Moss did a great job. Uh, he said, you shouldn't have just drove at him. You know, and here, the 62A has been dead for how long? But he's going to tell this guy how to play his tank. It just it cracks me up. It's like, shut up and just, you know, if, if you're already dead, just be quiet and don't say nothing. But I'll speed it up to uh, artillery now because I think I sat on him for a while watching these two go at it. So there, our artillery just got hit, but it, didn't, it was a direct hit too, and it didn't kill him, which I was very surprised. Um, power to the people that did the uh, nerf on artillery. <laughs> so everybody's like, just get up there and cap, get up there and cap. 
and I, you know, I don't mean to be, uh, I don't, I, I hope this isn't boring for you guys, but, you know, I just wanted you to see this shot that this, uh, T92 makes, because it is a freaking awesome shot. And I'll slow it down, so here we go. Bat chat, flying across the field right here. And you know the aim time on the T92 is still slow, even though they nerfed, or, uh, buffed up a lot of the gun stats. So I'm going to go at, we'll say, 116 speed so you can see this. And then I'm going to try and go back and play at a regular speed. But watch this freaking shot. This is, watch this. Boom! Direct hit. Let's see if I can go back. And then now we'll do it at regular speed. So we'll get back up to regular speed now so you can see how fast that dude was trudging across the uh, field here. Watch this. Whoop. One speed. Do it one more time and we'll keep it right at one speed because I had it at one and a half. <laughs> Oops. So now we're at, uh, okay, we're at regular one speed. Watch this. This is just a crazy awesome shot. I mean, the odds of him hitting that with the T-92, one of the most inaccurate artilleries in the game, was just freaking phenomenal. Here we go, watch. Kabam! On the move! I was like, freaking awesome. I said, dude, you're going on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I said, you're my damn hero. I mean, down to two artilleries, the clock's down to a minute and 45, and he takes him out. That bat chat, if he would have missed that shot, guaranteed that bat chat would have hauled butt around there and probably just, you know, let the clock tick out. But awesome shot. I got to give it to him. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield. Alrighty, so here's the results of that match. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, but I kind of revert back to random battles. And I went where the uh, tank destroyers kind of set. Figured out after a few minutes nothing was coming around on the enemy team, so I kind of pushed forward and made a mistake because there was a Kron Vog and that was um, set quite a ways back in that uh, A9 uh, little notch that goes up in the west side there. And uh, he uh, clipped out on me one time, and I think he might have penned me maybe one time. So when I saw the moss up there, I pulled forward, shot him in the side, and of course bounced the premium round. Um, Backed up the um, Kronvog and started clipping out on me again. And uh, that time he was able to pen me and take me out. So bounced like four of his rounds the first time. Then I think like three or four of his round pen the second time. Uh, I wasn't paying attention if it was all premium rounds. But this replay really had nothing to do with me. Um, what I was uh, really hit me right in the... Tutti Fruities was, uh, yeah, I only hit four tar or sh four shots, three hit for 2277 damage. Um, block 1600, which that would have been the Cranwagon. Um, but only lost 15,003 or 638. I think I tried shooting some per uh, standard rounds in that too. I can't remember now. But anyways, that was really highlighting the T92 uh, HM, uh, HMC uh, Fauzi 2008. Did 3,086 damage, got four kills, and the shot that he made on that bat chat on the move, full bore, cruising across in front of him there to actually hit him and freaking one shot him like that to win it for us was just phenomenal. I mean, talk about a freaking nail biter match there at the end. Holy crap, that was freaking awesome, and that's the that's the matches that I live for. Um, I prefer to be alive and involved in those matches, um, but you know you can't win them all. You can't uh, you can't do a you know, thousand damage uh, every shot, and you can't well if you're in uh, the 183 you can <laughs> or the Yagzella. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. You can't do you know 10,000 damage every match, but starting to climb up there. I've got my four star, my third shot round, so a few more to go, and I'll have that lovely little star. So I'm hoping to maybe get that tomorrow, um, as long as I keep on the uphill uh, battle doing good and, you know, getting good teams, then uh, that's just in, uh, in reach of my grasp. Uh, I'm still noticing that 
Um, a lot of times when the team just YOLOs and dies and just screws up, I'll go through and look at the stats of a lot of the players on the teams that that happens to, and it'd be like uh, maybe they only have that one tier 10, um, or they just must have had a lot of battles and worked themselves into a tier 10 because their stats are just pitifully bad. Um, you know what they say, though, you know, you can, uh, anybody can get a tier 10, just got to play enough battles, and that's uh, a lot of people are seeing that's how they get their tier 10s. Uh, but anyways, so it's still a lot of fun, but I just, you, you lose a lot of credits unless you try slinging standard rounds, which then you end up just not penning a lot of stuff. Then you don't do the damage, then you don't get the chevron, then you sit there, um, not going forward with a, a win because you're not in the top 12. And then you the next thing you know, you're on a losing team. So you start losing chevrons. So I think it would be, um. Uh, good if they could take gold rounds, the premium rounds, completely out of the uh, rank battles. You get standard rounds, and that's it. Standard rounds and standard rounds only. No heat, no APCR, unless that's your standard round. Um, and, you know, no um, just no premium rounds, basically, in general at all. So that I think that would be a lot better. For one, you know, your armor would be armor, because everybody just slings gold for premium rounds. And uh, they slice right through you. Even in the moss, I get penned so easy by a lot of the stuff that, you know, 311, 340, what, what is it? One of them has, what, almost 400 pen in the Exile on the premium. Was it 399? Let's look. Oh, 420. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I mean, they go right through you. And next thing you know, you know, it's just, they, I think they just take the premium rounds completely out of this, uh, you know, this ver this you know the rank battles um see how people like it too and if they do like it then completely take them out of the damn game but that'll never happen anyways i hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed enjoyed that uh video and enjoyed that shot from the t92 uh from fousey 2008 freaking phenomenal shot dude phenomenal but uh yeah you guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the, the video if you did please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel you guys, take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.